In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create cool animations like this one using only the prototyping features in Figma. So without further ado, let's jump over to Figma and let's see how this is done. So for this exercise, I just prepared this file. If you want to follow along, just feel free to download the file. It's going to be in the description down below. Or if not, just lay back, relax and enjoy the video. Now, if we look at the file, you will see that I prepared a couple of elements. The first one is this button over here, which has variants. And the reason I added these buttons over here is that I want to show you that this smart animation doesn't only work for your designs, but also for your components and your variants. And underneath we have this frame, which inside has all the necessary elements. If we just expand this, we will see that we have the checkout bag, which is hidden for now. It's over here. I'm just going to put it back. You will see why it's hidden. And then afterwards we have the shoe and obviously the car with all the details, the background and our button, which is a component. Now to start creating animations, first you need to go to the prototyping section over here on top. And the first thing you need to do is to add a starting point. So to do that, just click here on this plus sign over here and just rename this to start. Once you do this, now you're ready to start animating. So to create our animation, the first thing we need to do is to duplicate our frame. And to do that, you can copy and paste this using Command C, Command V, or you can simply click on Option or your, on your keyboard. You're going to have this icon with the two arrows and you're going to just click and drag your frame. And this will create a duplicate for you. Now, the next step is to start making those changes to our elements on our second frame. So if we just go to our second frame, if we go back to our animation, we will see that the position of our shoe changed. And also we have this text that shows up once we hover over the card. So to do that, if we go back, now we are on the second frame. So the first frame, we are not going to touch it. That is the initial position. And we go to the second frame and we just select the shoe. Make sure we are on the design tab. Shrink the shoe a bit. Change its position. Make sure everything is aligned properly and pretty much that's it. You can even make it slightly smaller. Now the next step, it will be to use the prototyping features and link these two together so Figma will know where the element was and where it is now so it can smart animate that transition. So to create the animation, we need to go back to our prototyping tab. Just select this element over here, drag an interaction. And here we're going to say that I would like this to be while hovering. I would like it to navigate to my second frame. And here, make sure you have selected the smart animate because this is where the magic happens. If you don't have selected smart animate, this will not work. Then tweak a bit your animations if you want. So for example, I selected this as being ease in and out. And also I selected the duration of the animation for 500 milliseconds. So if we just close this window, zoom a bit out and then afterwards Play the prototype. Now, if we hover that card, we will see that Figma automatically will animate our transition. Hence why it's called Smart Animate. All you need to do is to just change the position or properties of your elements on your second frame and Figma will just do the rest. Okay, so now that we have this animation, how do we add the text underneath or how do we show new elements on our second frame? Well, this is actually super simple. So if we go back to our designs and if we go back to our second frame, all we need to do is make sure you have design selected again. All we need to do is to add that particular text. So for example, for this one, I will just add the size of the shoe. I'm going to go here and make sure that the text is wrapping and underneath I'm going to add 8.5. And I'm going to change this font size to 64. Change it to black and group these together using auto layout, rename it to size, add an auto layout, add this to eight pixels and change the color to white. I'm just going to drag this element over here, position it properly. And that's it. Now, if we go back to our smart animation, we will see that if we hover over the shoe, that element will show up. And because this element was not in the first frame, what Figma will do is it will just fade in the element that you add to your second frame. Now, the next part of this animation is to introduce the hover state of this button on our card. So if we go back here to our design, 
we zoom out a bit now we can go to our variant so to add that hover state same as we did for our card what we need to do is to head over to the prototyping tab make sure we select the first one like the initial state of the button and just add a new interaction once we add the interaction Make sure that here instead of on click you select while hovering and here make sure that you have selected smart animate and also the type of animation you would like to have once everything is done go back to your prototype and you will see that now if we hover this button we will have that hover transition now the cool thing about using the smart animation on your variants or components is that you don't need to do this every single time you create a new design if you apply this to your variants or your components every single time you're going to use that component in a new design it will have that animation so this is why this is really cool when you need to create multiple designs so for example let's grab this element over here make sure we are on design so if we add this component anywhere on our frame either the first one or the second one it doesn't really matter we will see that if we hover this button we will have that animation and that's because we added the animation to our variants now let's go back delete these and add the final animation which is when you click on this buy now button to have this animation with the bag so now that you understood how Smart Animate works, now it makes more sense why I have this checkout bag hidden in my first frame. Now to create the bag animation, we need to do exactly the same thing as we did for our previous animations, which is to copy the initial state like the frame, copy it here, and then create a transition between the, my first frame and my second frame. And all I need to do on my third frame is to just open this up, select the checkout bag and just change its position to cover my card. Once I do that, I need to add an interaction which will be linked to my button. So make sure you're on your prototype, drag an interaction and then ch just change the interaction details to be on click, navigate to our third frame, smart animate, ease in and out, 500 milliseconds, and that's it. Now, if we go back to our prototype, we will see that if we click on the buy now button, the bag will cover the card. But now you might be wondering, how do I go back to the initial state without forcing the user to click on something or drag something or just take an action? Well, it's actually pretty simple. If you go back to your design, and if you select your frame, you will see here, if you click on interactions, that you have this option after delay. So if you click on that, you have the possibility to tell Figma after how many seconds you want the transition to be from one frame to another. So in our case, I will say that after a delay of, let's say 700 milliseconds, I would like to navigate from my third frame to my first one. And also here, make sure you have selected Smart Animate and that these ones are exactly the same properties as you have before. I mean, this is just a preference thing. You can obviously add different values, but for me, I think like this is, this looks a bit smoother if I keep the same animation properties as for all the animations that I created previously. So now if I go back to my prototype, I will see that this works just fine. If I click on the buy now button, the bag animation works just fine. And that's it. This is how simple it is to create animations in Figma using Smart Animate. Now, if you enjoyed this video, as always, don't forget to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'm going to see you pretty soon in the next video. Take care. Bye.